Hi, welcome to Moon Math. Today we're going to learn how to graph uh, parabolas or quadratics. And I'm going to give you a couple different examples. Okay, let's first start with this one. Okay, what we want to do first is we want to identify the vertex, which is the change of direction on a parabola. Well, this is in vertex form, so it's very easy. It's y equals a times x minus h, where h is my x-coordinate, so that's going to be positive 2. It's always the opposite sign from what you see in the formula, plus k. Well, k is the number on the outside of the perfect square. In this case, it's negative 5. So I've actually taught my students to sing the opposite of h, but the same as k for the signs. So h is 2, and k is negative 5. Opposite sign of h, but the same sign as k. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot that point. Well, that point is at 2, negative 5, which puts me right here. Now, strategically, the best thing to do is plug on a point, plug in a point into your equation, one to the left and one to the right of the vertex. So since my vertex x coordinate is 2, I can plug in a 1 and I can plug in a 3. And we know that a parabola is symmetric. So really, if I just plug in one of those, I can actually get the output that will match on both sides. So let's plug in a 1. Okay, 2 times 1 minus 2 quantity squared minus 5. Okay, that's going to give me a negative 1, but I'm going to square it and get a positive 1. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So I'm going to get a negative 3 out for both of my outputs. So that's 1, negative 3, and 3, negative 3. And then I can do the same thing one more time to the left and to the right. And so that would be plugging in a 0 on the left, right? 0 would be my next x. And then the matching x coordinate would be 4. So which one looks a little easier to plug in? I think 0 is always easy to plug in, so let's plug it in. Let's take 2 times 0 minus 2 squared minus 5. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, squared is 4, so 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. So that's going to give me 0, 3, and that's going to give me 4, 3 on its matching side. And then I can just sketch my graph, bada boom bada bang, put my arrows on it because it is a continuous graph, and I'm done. And that's how I would graph a quadratic function from vertex from a vertex form. Now, let's look at this one. This one's not in vertex form, so I need to find my vertex. This is in standard form. To find the vertex from standard form, I'm going to use negative b over 2a. In this case, a is a positive 1 and b is a positive 6. So negative 6 over 2 times a, which is 1, is going to give me negative 3. So negative 3 is the x-coordinate of my vertex. To find the y-coordinate, let's plug that in to the function. Everywhere there's an x, you're going to plug in negative 3 here and negative 3 here. So negative 3 quantity squared, I'm squaring the negative 3, that's going to give me positive 9 minus, well, 6 times negative 3 is 18, plus 2. So that's going to give me negative 9 plus 2, which is negative 7. That's my y-coordinate. So let's go over here and plug in negative 3, negative 7, puts us right here. Now, I am going to plug in a negative 2 and a po negative 4 to get matching outputs. But I'm going to show you a little trick. When you have a that is 1, you can actually graph a quadratic pattern. And it works like this. From the vertex, you can go up 1 and over 1, up 1 and over 1 to get the next output, almost like a slope of 1 over 1. To get the next output, you're going to go up 3 and over 1. And then to get the next output, you're going to go up 5 and over 1. And you're going to go up by increasing odd integers, because that's a pattern of quadratics. So from here, I'm going to go up 1 and over 1, and then up 1, 2, 3 and over 1. And then I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and over 1. 
and there we go I've got my quadratic drawn now that pattern will only work when a is 1 now there are different strategic ways to find the stretches when it is something like this one too but I just showed you kind of two ways to do those so I hope this video was helping you helpful in teaching you how to graph quadratics